Some Applications of Trigonometry Exercise 12.1 10th Class The first problem A circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground. Find the height of the pole if the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree. Here the picture also is been provided. Yes, right. Here a circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope. Yes, here it has been mentioned the 20 meter. This one is the rope. A C is the rope which is of length 20 meter which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole. Here AB is the pole which is vertical and here you can say BC is the ground. BC is the ground. Find the height of the pole if the angle made by the rope with the ground. This one is the ground. BC is the ground and the angle between the rope and the ground is 30 degree. So what we have to calculate here is the height of the pole. The most in this as this is a right angle triangle. Yes right. And we can say AC is the hypotenuse. And AB is the opposite side. Opposite side as here the angle is 30 degree and it is opposite to this angle c a b is the side which is opposite so we can say so this one is the adjacent side so we know the hypotenuse which is equals to 20 meter so what we have to calculate here is the height of the pole so upper hypotenuse we know and we have to calculate the opposite side so the most uh, useful is the sine theta sine theta is equal to half by opposite side by hypotenuse so here sine theta is 30 degree which is equals to opposite is ab and the hypotenuse is ac sine 30 degree is 1 by 2 is equal to AB by what is AC here? The length of AC is 20 meter. So on cross multiplication, 20 meter by 2 is equal to AB. So 10 meter is equal to AB, which is equal to is the therefore length of pole. Length of the pole is 10 meter, which is equals to AB. This completes this problem. Let us move to the second problem. A tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle 30 degree with it. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter. Find the height of the tree. Here, first of all, let us track a vertical tree standing. Straight. A vertical tree. Yes, right? The tree is straight. It is standing. Yes, right? It breaks. Let us take that it breaks at this point. Let this point A. Yes, right? Due to the storm and the broken part bends and this part bends. Let us take this part bends so that the top, this top of the tree touches the ground. Yes, this ground, it touches the ground. Here, it touches the ground. Yes, right? So what happens here? This is the point where the top of the tree touches the ground. Yes, right? Making an angle 30 degree. Here the angle is 30 degree. With it, the distance between the foot of the tree, this is the foot of the tree, to the 
point where the top touches the ground that is this point yes right let me take this b and this one as c the distance between these two points b and c is equal to the 8 meter this one is 8 meter as here it is 90 degree we can take ac as hypotenuse and this one is opposite side which is opposite to 30 degree and this one is adjacent side adjacent side so here what we have to calculate here is the height of the tree the height of the tree is this much whereas this part has been bent and this so that uh, the height of the tree of the tree is equal to AB plus AC AB plus AC this is the height of the tree here we should understand that the distance between the distance between the foot of the tree that is B to the point where the top touches the ground the top this top as touching is touching the ground at this point C the distance between these two points is 8 meters that's right so we have to calculate AB and also AC if you if you add these two things we will be getting the height of the tree to calculate this let me use cos theta cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so here cos 30 degree cos 30 degree is there here so adjacent side is 8 meters what is that adjacent side means bc the ground and hypotenuse is ac the broken part so cos 30 degree is equal to bc that is 8 meter by ac we don't know what is the length we don't know so cos 30 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 is equal to 8 meter by ac so upon cross multiplication ac will be equals to 2 into 8 meter by root 3 that is ac is equal to 8 to so 16 meter by root 3 let us take this as one so we have calculated the hypotenuse ac now let us calculate the opposite side ab by taking sine theta we as we know the hypotenuse we can calculate the opposite side is right sine theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse here sine theta is 30 degree sine 30 degree is equal to what is opposite opposite is ab by ac hypotenuse is ac we have calculated ac here sine 30 degree is 1 by 2 ab is ab and as we don't know and ac is 16 meter by root 3 this can be rewritten as ab by 1 into root 3 by 16 meter so on cross multiplication 16 meter by 2 that's right 16 meter 1 into 16 meter by 2 here root 3 also comes to the denominator which will be equals to ab so 2 ones are 2 eights are. 8 meter by root 3 is equal to AB. So we have calculated the length of AB. But AB is the standing part of the tree. But what is the height of the tree? Height of the tree is, is equal to AB plus AC. What is AB here? AB is equal to 8 meter by root 3 plus what is ac is 16 meter by root 3 here in both the cases root 3 is the denominator so no problem we can straight away write this one this one so 8 plus 16 meter which is equals to 24 meter 24 meter by root 3 which can be written as 8 into 3 by root 3 so which is equals to 8 into root 3 root 3 by root 3 
meter so here this one cancels so the answer is 8 root 3 meter is your answer is the length of the 8 root 3 meter is the length of the tree this completes this problem now let us move on to the next problem a contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park for the children below the age of five years she prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.5 meter 1.5 meter height yes right and is inclined at an angle of 30 degree yes right 30 degree to the ground whereas for elder children let this be the for the five year children's five years and for the elders for elders she wants to have a steep slide at the height of three meter let this be three meter and inclined at an angle of 60 degree let this be equal to 60 degree to the ground what should be the length of the slide in the each case yes right so we have to calculate the length of the slide let this be a b c and here let me take x y and z these are the two slides or uh, here we have to calculate ac whereas here we have to calculate xz the length of the slides in this case we will be using as this is a right angle triangle year to year also it is right angle triangle yes right so we can use this one is hypotenuse this one is opposite and this one is adjacent yes right bc is the adjacent here sine theta can be used sine theta is equal to as we want to calculate yes that is half by i opposite by hypotenuse sine 30 degree here sine 30 degree is equal to what is that opposite opposite is ab by ac sine 30 degree is equal to you know that 1 by 2 what is ab ab is equal to 1.5 meter by ac is hypotenuse ac let us let it remain as it is so on cross multiplication ac is equal to 2 into 1.5 meter so ac is equal to 3 meter is equal to length of the length of the slide for 5 years children for less than 5 years children And for the elder children, here, here also the same form, same sine function holds good. As year two, we have to calculate hypotenuse. This one is opposite, and once again, xz is adjacent. We will not use its adjacent side. Opposite by hypotenuse. Yes, right. Sine here, the function the angle is sine 60 degree as it is more steep that's right so opposite is 3 meter we have to calculate hypotenuse what is that hypotenuse is xz xz is the hypotenuse sine 60 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 is equal to 3 meter by xz so on cross multiplication xz is equal to 2 into 3 meter 2 into 3 meter by root 3 so xz is equal to 2 into root 3 into root 3 meter by root 3 so 3 can be written as 3 is equal to root 3 into root 3 so here root 3 root 3 cancels so xz is equal to 2 root 3 meter is the length of the slide of the slide 
of the elder children this completes this problem